So let's get started. We need to prepare to, to create uh, the HyperDoc so that it's in your account and it's easy for you to share it with your students. I have two resources for you, the teacher's guide and the student copy. I need you first to find, navigate to the student copy. And you can find that on the teacher's guide day one. I have a link to the student copy. First thing you need to do is open it up and you do not need to request access to edit it. Just go to file and slide down to make a copy and you can make a copy of the entire presentation. You can change the name at this point, maybe put your class name or your name so we can keep track of which copy is which. So once that is loaded, um, you will be able to uh, be accessed through your Google Drive. Now, if you are not um, using Google Apps for Education, you can actually go to File and you can download as Microsoft PowerPoint and revise and edit in the exact same ways. It works just the same. So once you have that copy of, of the HyperDoc, you need to first thing, make sure the share settings are set. Right now it's restricted. Uh, nobody can see it. Uh, and so what you need to do is click on the share button in the top right, click on restricted and select anyone with a link. I like to do that. Uh, it might have an option there uh, people within your school district, but I like to do it anyone with a link so that parents can access this curriculum as well. And you want to make sure they are a viewer so nobody else is editing your work. There's no need for the students to be editing these slides. So you will select done. And at this point, you need to think about how are my students going to get this lesson um, using this link. You can share this through Google Classroom. You can email the students. Um, you can uh, use a shortened link uh, or add it to your website or however you normally pass out digital content. But I need you to be thinking about that right away for that great workflow to start right off. So you've made a copy, you've shared the link with your students, and it's really important now that we teach them how to learn on this HyperDoc. So thinking about day one, um, you are only to make that copy and we're going to focus only on slides one and two. Now, as you're getting um, launching this, we're going to give a little preview of what the movie's about. So you can show the trailer and you're going to be noticing that there's a lot of themes throughout the movie. And some of these themes can be very triggering to your students. So a big warning to you before viewing it have a big discussion with your class, have support staff ready, counselors or anyone else who is available to help students who are maybe in distress by some of the things they see and ready with resources. Um, some students may feel uncomfortable watching this and you kind of need a plan ahead of time to let them know. Uh, there's themes about friendship, about bullying, about eating disorders, um, about, um, you know, uh, digital citizenship. And um, of course, uh, the main theme is about suicide. So do be prepared. But a theme that I like to point out is, are students being bystanders or are they being upstanders? That's something that really stood out to me. I noticed throughout the film that there were choices that the characters could have made, things they could have done or things they could have said that might have changed the course of action. And so because of that, I came up with this essential question that I would launch this lesson with. I would show the trailer and then I would be talking about that very topic bystanders and upstanders. How do our actions or inactions affect others' lives? And so I encourage you to either embrace that essential question, or you know what? It's your copy. You can edit and revise this any way you like. Change the instructions, change the essential question. Maybe you're going to have the students do a writing assignment to go along with that pre-thinking. But I do highly encourage you um, here in the teacher's guide to think about that. Day one is about slides one and two. Take your time going into this lesson and um, being prepared for those tough topics that they'll be listening to.